What do the LEDs mean? What are all these lights on the front of a switch? Hey, it's Clint Garrett, Ace Networker, and I want to welcome you to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about the LED indicators on the physical ports of a switch. Each NIC interface, each physical port on a switch, and even those on routers and other networking devices, will have indicator lights, LEDs, that will help when troubleshooting connectivity issues on a computer network, both with verifying the connections and cables are indeed working and working correctly, and with determining more exactly what what may not be working if one or more of those connections stop working or passing traffic. These LED lights are to give a technician, admin, or engineer a quick glance indication of what may be going on on that particular physical port just by looking at it. Now, I'll preface this short video with a statement that what I'm about to show you is not a blanket description of what these indicator lights mean on every brand of switch. There are several network switch manufacturers out there. There are quite a few, and they're making all types and speeds of network switches. You'll want to read your owner's manual or your documentation for the specific switch you're using or looking at to confirm what I'm telling you about the LEDs is indeed correct. But for quick reference, I'm going to show you the basics for what each of the LED lights on each NIC port of a switch typically mean, okay? So when looking at the front of a typical network switch, you will have a number of physical ports for use with connecting cables from other different devices on the network to the switch that you're looking at. There may be four ports, eight, 12, 24, or 48 ports. On the switch I'm showing you here, there are 24 physical ports for connectivity to other devices. You can count them here. We're going to zoom in on one of those ports here to show how the LED lights, again, typically two of them, on this single physical port are arranged and what they indicate when they're either on, off, or blinking. Also, for the sake of knowing not only the history of networking and networking devices, but for knowing how legacy equipment functions, as you may see legacy devices, older devices, on networks even today as long as they're still working, functioning correctly, and doing their job. So for the sake of that, we're going to look at a typical one gigabit per second interface port here first. On most layer two switches, you will see two LED lights arranged like this on a physical switch port. Again, I need to clarify, this is not across the board for every manufacturer. But for the sake of looking at a typical port, the LED on the left has the capability of being either green or amber in color. And typically, the left-hand LED light shows one of three things. If it's off, it means there's no connection on this port, so the port may be administratively shut down in the switch configuration, or it's being blocked by something like a protocol like spanning tree after it detected a loop on the network, or if it is off, it may indicate that this one gigabit per second physical port is only working at 10 megabits per second. If the LED light is on, and it is displaying green in color, it means there is a connection. It's not administratively down or shut down, and it's passing traffic at 100 megabits per second. And if this left-hand side LED light is on and it's amber, it means this one gigabit per second port is passing traffic at its full operating capacity of one gigabits per second, okay? So let's say you know the connection you're checking on is the first port on this particular switch. You walk into the network component room, you look at the first port on this switch, and you see the left-hand light off. Well, again, you know it's either not connected or it's only working at 10 megabits per second speed for whatever the reason. If you see it lit green, it's connected, but it's only connected at 100 megabits per second. And if it's lit solid amber, it's connected and it's working at one gigabit per second. Full capacity for that port on the switch. Now let's take a quick look at the right-hand side LED on this port because that gives you a little more information to work with, quite a bit more actually. The right-hand LED light will usually be blinking to indicate there is activity occurring on that physical port. Either traffic is being transmitted out that port or it's being received on, you know, inbound on that port or both usually. In my experience, when you look at the ports on a switch like this and you see the right-hand LED light blinking so fast, it's almost solid, you can hardly even tell it's blinking, and every other port on that switch that has a cable connected is doing the same thing, you may have a broadcast storm occurring. 
that switch is getting so much traffic, there's so much broadcasting and so much traffic going on that it's it's not functioning correctly. In other words, your your network is kind of being locked down and it may be locked down on this switch and it may be locked down on other devices, but you know it's happening on this switch. Now, when they're operating normally, the right-hand LED will blink at a slower rate, but the more experience you have with computer networking, the easier you can intuitively tell the difference between normal blinking and blinking so fast it's almost solid. In other words, you can hardly tell it's even blinking. It just seems like it's on. So if you pursue a career or business in networking, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about as you see this more and more. Now, when you move up to the newer, faster physical port connections, like 10 gigabit per second, 40 gigabit per second, 100 gigabit per second or faster, you still see two LED lights on each of these ports, but they may not be as specific on their indications as they were on the one gigabit per second physical NIC ports, okay? You may see the green LED just on or off, indicating that the link or the connection is either working or not. Now, the amber activity light can still give you an indication, again, depending on how fast or slow it's blinking, on how furious or calm the traffic on that port really is. So that's a basic rundown of the LED indicator lights on each physical port of a network switch, and I hope this helps. Again, read the documentation or the owner's manual on a specific switch you're looking at to confirm what I've said here is accurate. More than likely it is, but depending on the brand and manufacturer, it may not be, so make sure. If you're just starting out in computer networking and you want to pursue a career or business in the field, be sure to check out my free beginner's networking course where I'll take you from zero to network expert in 30 days. The link is in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.